Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Nabelski here with a time-lapse painting of actress Son Yi Jin, a K-drama star who's been around for quite a while. And this is uh, from the movie Crash Landing on You, which is my favorite K-drama. And she is in Switzerland, and I just started uh, drawing the leather jacket. I had, I was a little, not confident about drawing this, but once I got into it and started adding the different colors and layering the different colors, I found it really um, enjoyable. And um, I threw the the curve of the zipper and the shadows, and I had some blues and some purples and some highlights. And there are some different areas where the light is passing through, like towards her arm, her right arm, the light is passing through, hitting her purse. That was very satisfying. Uh, here I'm just trying to get the, the, um, the folds in the leather jacket to make sure that looks accurate. And I had some uh, perspective issues, which we'll deal with in a little, little bit here. The hand has always given me problems. I never liked the hand. The, the purse was surprisingly uh, quick, and I thought it was going to be a, a lot of problems drawing that. And surprisingly, surprisingly, it went really, really well. And um, I was able to get the right perspective, change the size a little bit, and just you know, using the blending. As for brushes that I use, I use for the fine points, I use the technical pen, which is in the inking brush set. And then for the shading and highlights and that type of thing, blending, I use the soft brush, which is located in the airbrush brush set. <laughs> I also use the light pen from Illuminance for the belt buckle and points of light for like the zippers, for instance. For the jeans, I did use a brush called Plimsoll, which is found in the artistic brush set. It gave me a great texture. It really looked just like jeans. It was amazing. Next, we're going to be working on the head. The head, I always save that for last. I'll always go back and do the little details here and there, but I spent a lot of time on the hair, set up a little grid there, and then I was able to work on the face. Um, Sometimes I'm really successful with faces, sometimes I'm not. I just have to really work it and work and work on it, use the reference image as best I could. Sometimes I would bring over something to give a, a grid to get that nuance. Her eyes are the most beautiful part of her. She uh, has very emotional eyes, and um, I think I did a pretty good job with that. It took me a long time, probably four hours of the 14 hours this took was spent on her face. And um, out of the jewelry, made sure the ring was in the right perspective, go back and add the people in the background, and that is it. Thank you for watching.